Hi, I'm Lukas Ruszycka and today I'm going to start a new Studio One video series. So the next episodes will be all about switching song sections in the Studio One show page. We will take a look at different playback modes for sections, how you can automate your live arrangements, but also how to cue song sections manually during the show. So let's say you have a ready-made backing track of your arrangement. Here is the backing track, here is my virtual instrument player, and here is my external keyboard. Now my song, which is supposed to be the first song of the gig, is actually just an audio file that, when you start playback, just plays from start to finish and then stops. But it's a show, right? So we want to be able to interact with the audience and we want to have intros that loop until you cue into the next section. Fortunately, this is possible in the show page and very easy to do. So first make sure to have the arranger track open. And this is literally the secret to arrange your song. We need to divide our song into different arranger sections and then we can decide how each section is gonna be played. Adding a section is as easy as holding down command or control on a Windows PC and drawing a new section. Just make sure to have snap to crit enabled because our backing track is recorded exactly on click so we can just snap to bars. And it looks like these four bars at the beginning work very well as an intro section. And the next four bars could be a second intro part. And then the next four bars are the verse. A very easy way to copy these song sections is to hold down Alt and just drag the section, or even easier, just press D. So I actually could just create a four bar section and then press D to quickly create song sections for my whole song. But of course, that's just this example where all parts in this backing track are the same length. And now let's name them intro, intro two, verse, chorus, and let this part be our solo section and this final section is the outro. And now let's also add some colors. All right, and now it's getting interesting because when I now press play, it will still play back the whole thing. But now we can change that. You see these icons here, they tell us how this section is played. And when I click on the icon, I can change the playback mode. The standard mode is continue, so it just plays the section once and then goes to the next section. Next is stop at end. Let's try this. This can be useful, of course, for the ending of our song, but especially when our song has a break and we want to stop in the middle of the song and then cue the next section manually, this is pretty cool. Then we have loop. And that's of course the option we use in an open intro when someone can talk to the audience or we have a solo part without a specific length. And of course, this needs a way to exit that loop. There are several ways to do this. Here in our edit view, we can just double click another section that we want to be played next. This can be the next section, but it can also be any other section in your song. Now you may ask, when does Studio One jump to the cued section? Does this happen immediately or right in the next bar or maybe at the end of the section? And this is exactly what you can adjust here with the sync mode. The sync mode can be set to one bar, two bars, four bars, or end, what means the end of the section. So if you know that you always want to play all sections until the end, you can set the sync mode to end. Which means if your intro is set to loop and you start the intro and you immediately cue the next section, you have to wait for the whole section to be finished and then the next section starts.
But if you want to be flexible enough to queue to any next bar, you might want to set it to one or two bars. And as a last option, you can completely turn off sync mode and then if you queue another section, this starts without any quantization or delay. This could be helpful for theater music where you just have different scenes with atmos and sound effects and you want to trigger some one-shot effect immediately. Or of course, when you're just rehearsing. So back to the playback mode, as I said, loop is an infinite loop. But maybe you just want to repeat a section a certain number of times, like the eight bars solo part should be played two or four times and then it should go into the next part. And this can be done with the loop and continue. Now, if I select that, you see this little number right here and it's currently set to two repetitions. Let's test that. If I want to have four repetitions, I can right click and then change it to four or any number I want. Okay, that's been loop and continue and the last option we have is skip. Skip means, as you might possibly guess, skip this section and go right into the next section. Maybe we want only one intro in the song and don't use the second intro section, then I can just set it to skip. Of course I can still queue it manually if I want to use it as an interlude or a breakdown part somewhere in the middle of the song. So I guess that's it for today's video. In the next video we're gonna talk about the perform view because you most likely don't want to run your whole show in this timeline view here. If you found this video helpful, please support my channel and subscribe. Now see you in the next video, bye bye.